Hi, this is the fellow passenger. This is a very short video showing you how you hook up your Yamaha TX7 to the VST plugin Dext. I'm sure this applies to a DX7 as well, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to assume that. First of all, turn on your TX7, click on the mode button to make sure that you are in shift mode. Then you click on your MIDI mode button, step through to check which MIDI channel you are receiving data on. Then over to Ableton, we open, uh, we go into instruments, external instrument. Um, you select the MIDI interface you're using to connect to your TX7. I have named my TX7. Um, and the same with the input channel. So now I uh, can receive sounds. I am going to bring up an image on the screen showing the MIDI interface that I'm using, but I'm sure any MIDI interface will do. Then we have to have another MIDI channel. And there we are going to open Dext. I'm using the AU um, version of it rather than the VST3 and the reason for that is that I'm on a Mac but for some reason in the VST3 version some of the parameters are not MIDI controllable um, but this version seems to be absolutely fine so I'm going to use that. Now we are on this channel um, that's the default patch on when you open Dext so now we go into Pram and we make sure that we have set the um, DX7 in and out to whatever the MIDI interface you're using for in and out to talk to your text. And now let's send this default patch to, to the TX7. You right click, but make sure you don't right click on any of these uh, knobs or sliders or anything and then you should get this menu and then you send the current program to your DX7. That's still Dext, but if we go back to our other channel now, that should now have our, let's just mute that. So now we should hear the same patch on the TX7. And you can hear it doesn't sound quite the same. It's probably more useful to use an init patch. So we go back to Dext, click init, and then we send that to our DX7. Then we just got the first operator with a sine wave. And now we can control this using Dext. So if I, this is real time now. So if I turn off, turn up the volume on the second operator, And as you hear, the change will not happen until I'm actually releasing the MIDI note and send a new one. Let's also create a little bit more of a release. So there you go. Now this is real time controlling. And just to spice this up a bit, we can then take an expression control and then we also open this tab on Dext and say configure so we can choose some parameters that we want to do um, some modulation with. Just picking a few here. Um, let's do the course tuning on the second one there on the second operator. And then we just map this to these parameters. So now you're going to get a slightly different patch every time you press a key, but also we need to set our Dext MIDI channel to listen to the MIDI notes that's coming into the one sending to the TX. So we go MIDI from and our external instrument, which is that channel. Oh, and then we need to click in. So 
So now you can modulate this like crazy. Do we have, yes, we do have a. There you go. I hope that was helpful. Uh, a few people have asked me how to do this. So there you go. Enjoy your TX7. It's a bargain. Bye.